All right, so we are at the last part of the grow action hours for the day. And something that um, I shared in the growth spurt time actually today um, was I had this highlighted in my journal and it just, it, I was drawn to share it from something that was spoken of in the, in the breakout room. And it says, share what you create and receive growth. And I've reread this highlighted couple of words, it's very simple, but it was just it was screaming at me to share with Nicole and Susie during this time, share what you create and receive growth. And then there was another part that I saw at the end of our time together that is also highlighted on this page, the two things that are highlighted. So the last part, um, if you heard us talking, we were talking about commitments and how we set actionable steps and move forward with growth spurt. And something I have highlighted on here is as I do my commitments, I get to be more aligned with my vision. And I thought that went so well with the growth spurt this morning. And it was the last part that I looked at right before we were done with growth spurt. And I was like, I'm going to share that. So as I do my commitments, I get to be more aligned with my vision, right? And that just brings up the idea of taking inspired action. The things that light us up and we want to move towards them, we need to take an action. We need to have a commitment to ourselves, to um, our vision, to our process. And, um, you know, even if it's something that we would say didn't work out or it failed or whatever, it's temporary. We're, we keep moving forward in our vision and we get to show up for our commitments and be more in alignment every time we say yes to something um, and learn from it. It's all a learning experience. It's all growth and process. Um, so it kind of goes with what Susie was sharing too. So wanting to open that up. We have two minutes. If anyone wants to go off of that and share or any insights, um, good morning, Knox. <laughs> that um, you can go ahead and unmute and share if anyone has anything. No? I'll share if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think so. Some what just came up as you were saying that. Oops, I almost knocked over my laptop. Is you know sometimes the action step is being mindful of how you feel energetically. At least for me, how I feel energetically about something in the moment and taking the time to do that, I think, is so important. Um, because as I was saying, I've been really, really busy, and I absolutely adore doing groups. Uh, but I've had so many and it definitely came from a little bit of a lack mentality because of going on this vacation. Oh, I need to make sure I like book all these groups so that I have, you know, uh, the money coming in and all that kind of stuff. And I realized that that's not in fully in alignment with me, having that many groups and feeling like I have to rush around. I don't get enough time for me. The group is great. It's all the stuff I have to do after that, like all the notes and things. So to kind of wrap that up, it's, being mindful of my energy in the moment. How does this feel for me is sometimes the most important action step for me. Yeah, <clears throat> I love that. I'm, I, I love that you mentioned mindfulness in the energy and how that really plays a part. That's definitely true in this community with us that are staring back at you. We talk about energy and um, have, how it makes us feel like that's the most important part because if it feels like there's, resistance or like something isn't right like we know that we're supposed to do something different right it's just redirection and um continuing to adjust and change and just tweak things to keep moving and be in alignment so i love that love it love it love it okay we are at the top of the hour so we're going to stop here